Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Brown Struggle in Canada. If you're new here, I'm B and this is Anu. We recently moved to Canada and have started our journey of exploring new places. So subscribe to the channel and tag along while we take you to the best travel places. Today we are taking you to the famous Columbia Ice Fields Parkway where we will be exploring the Athabasca Glacier and the Columbia Skywalk. Watch this video till the end because we will be sharing some hidden spots that we explored on our way to the Ice Fields Parkway. The drive to the Columbia Ice Field Parkway is approximately 2 hours north of Banff on the Trans Canada Highway and 1 hour south from the town of Jasper. We drove from Banff and no wonder this drive is one of the most scenic and beautiful drives in Canada. We booked our tickets for 11 am and arrived a little early. The parking was included in the ticket and was on the north side of the Columbia Discovery Center. In addition to Banff National Park, you would need to book the Columbia Ice Field Adventure which was approximately $117 per person. That includes the glacier tour and the skywalk. We waited approximately 15 minutes to be boarded on the first bus that took us from the Discovery Center to the Ice Explorer Center. The Ice Explorer Center is the station to the amazing ice explorers that make it possible for us to go on the Athabasca Glacier. These are special vehicles. There are only 22 of them in Canada and all of them are situated in the Columbia Ice Fields Parkway. The drivers of these vehicles are also the guides of your tour that keep you entertained during the entire duration of the trip and give you some amazing facts about the surroundings. Anybody from the Maritimes? No. Anybody from the Maritimes? No. Anybody from the Canadians? No. Do you want me to Canadians on the bus? Alright, that's not a real place anyway, so we'll just, uh, we'll just... We're screaming as loud as we can. Ah! Ah! We're up so strong, so here we go, everybody. Now, Jamie, stay quiet for this portion of the drive. That's just some guys to sit back, relax, and enjoy the view on the way down. Overall, the trip down to the glacier was approximately 25 minutes long. Once you're at the bottom of the glacier, you're greeted with the pale blue ice, which is a result of the dense formation of ice with continuous snowing over the years. Before you're able to leave the vehicle, you're instructed about some safety guidelines on the glacier. This is because there are several areas at the glacier that can be dangerous. So you're advised to stay within the set parameter that has been put down by the company that takes you to the glacier. As you leave the vehicle, a quick look back can tell you about how far you've come from the Columbia Ice Field Center. We have 30 minutes to explore the glacier before our return. So we headed directly towards the last end point that we could safely travel to uh, to have a look at the massive glacier in front of us. There is also certain springs of water that can emerge from the glacier and this is very pure water that you can bring a water bottle for and take with yourself back to the Columbia Ice Field Center. After the Athabasca Glacier, the next destination was the Columbia Ice Field Skywalk. We boarded the bus that took us straight to the Skywalk. After getting off the bus, this was the first view. The line moved pretty fast and we got our tickets scanned within minutes. You can purchase the tickets to the Skywalk separately if you don't wish to do the glacier tour. We started our walk on the pathway that was on the edge of the mountain while enjoying the views of the Shunwakta Valley. There were several information boards and interactive signs to give you more information about the surrounding mountains and how the rocks were formed. This scenic walk brought us to the 280 meters high glass-bottomed bridge 
which was overhanging the Shunwapta Valley. It was a thrilling experience stepping on the glass bridge and peeking at the sweeping valley under our feet from the height of 900 feet. The bridge is a semi-circle and not so long but it was worth the experience. From here we were able to see the Mount Athabasca, Andromeda and Mount Kitchener. We also heard that this bridge stays open in the fall season and we could only imagine how beautiful it would look. We spent almost half an hour here enjoying and capturing the beautiful views. After that we took the bus to the discovery center. There are several restaurants to dine in. We decided to get some food here and enjoyed our coffee in the patio while taking in the views of the nearby mountains. After we got our lunch here, we decided to drive further to Jasper as it was only an hour away. On our way to Jasper, we decided to make some small stops that we will be sharing with you. Our first stop was the Shin Wapta Falls. Now these are located approximately 50 kilometers away from the Athabasca Glacier that feeds these falls. The upper falls can be accessed roughly through a hike of 600 meters from the parking lot, which makes it a perfect roadside stop. On your way to Jasper to complete the Icefield Parkway drive, we definitely recommend that you stop at the Sinwapta Falls. Up next, we stopped at the Athabasca Falls. This is a 23 meter high fall, which is one of the most powerful falls in the mountain national parks. This can be another quick road stop as the hike from the parking lot to the Athabasca Falls is very short. Also, you have a chance to have a look at the falls from all sides as you can cross the bridge from one side to the other and have a look at this spectacular fall. It was amazing seeing the water going between the canyons with so much pressure. There is also a viewing platform from where you can stand and look at the falls up close but be prepared to be soaked up with the mist. After spending approximately half an hour at the Athabasca Falls, our drive continued while we made some few little stops looking at the wildlife. Our next roadside stop was the viewpoint of the Hawk and the Collin Mountain. This quick stop was perfect for taking a break from the driving and appreciating the beautiful views of these mountains. After that, we decided to continue driving and make the final stop at our final destination which was the Jasper Lake. Even though the drive was full of scenic views and beautiful mountains, the view of the actual Jasper Lake was jaw-dropping. Since we arrived here in the evening, we had the whole lake to ourselves. We sat here for a while and enjoyed the beautiful views and calmness of this gorgeous lake. We also walked around the sandy beach appreciating how beautiful the nature is. We both wished that we had a little bit more time to spend here but we had to leave before the dark. So we decided to go to the closest location which was the town of Jasper. In complete honesty we were not expecting this town to be so lively and so beautiful. We really wish that we dedicated one day to explore this beautiful town which had its own vibe. There were so many beautiful patios there and lively music around the town. So that is something that we will definitely plan next time. After getting our dinner from here, it was time to head back before the sunset. Now this is something that we learned the hard way that even though the drive back was very scenic and full of beautiful views, one thing that we did not consider that there are no lights on the sides of the road. Also there were no buildings around which means there was no light pollution and it made the roads really dark and pitch black after the sunset. So we recommend considering this when you're planning a long trip. 
Up next is the last stop of this trip and my most favorite one. This is the Bow Lake. There is a big parking lot near the main road where we parked and less than a 5 minute walk got us to this beautiful view. And that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do as it helps us immensely. And we will be back with another adventure very soon. For a complete budget guide and a more comprehensive travel guide, check out our other videos.